I am standing right in front of the most toxic and deadly plant in North America. And this plant right here is called water hemlock. You maybe heard of its other cousin called poison hemlock. This one's also poisonous, but it's called the water hemlock, and it is even a worse death to suffer through. It is said that the standard poison hemlock that you may have heard about, you probably heard Socrates, was either going to be killed or instead he chose to take the poison hemlock. Well, it's said that poison hemlock is not a bad way to go. Poison hemlock is something that will simply stop your heart, stop your breathing, and you die. Whereas this is an absolutely horrid way to go. And I'm going to tell you what the experience is like. And I'm also going to tell you a potential remedy that you could use if somebody you know accidentally ingests this plant, at least something that you could do before you get to the hospital that very likely could save their life. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. By the way, this plant is so dangerous that even touching it may cause dermatitis or skin trouble. This plant grows all over North America. Actually, every single state, including Alaska, every province of Canada except for potentially Newfoundland, but basically everywhere else in North America you can find this plant. So chances are it lives somewhere near you. One of the ways that people accidentally ingest this is that they think they are eating wild carrot and there's one telltale sign that can distinguish the different plants from each other. Yes, the leaves may look different, but the flowers, they look very, very, very similar. But one of the key telltale signs of water hemlock and poison hemlock is that their stems are very smooth. They're, they're absolutely smooth, but on the wild carrot, also known as Queen Anne's lace, you may have heard the saying, the queen has hairy legs. And so when you see those hairs all down the stem of wild carrot, that is a telltale sign that distinguishes it from the poison hemlock, or in this case, the water hemlock. To give you a little idea of what it has been like historically when people have consumed it, there were a group of five boys back in Marin County, California. They were out on a hike and they were looking for some wild edible plants and they saw this plant and thought it was another, whether it was wild carrot. And so they began to consume it. Two of the boys were brothers and one of them ate three pieces of the root or what's called the rhizome. His brother ate one piece of the root and two other boys, they put it in their mouth and they just immediately spit it out. They ended up going, leaving that place. They got in their car and they began to drive and the boys began to have pain in their stomach. And when they made it to the gas station, that pain began to intensify. Then they had repeated vomiting that began to take place as spasms in the stomach became even worse. Then they got to the point where they actually were going into grand mal seizures. At this point, the police arrived. When the police arrived, they took them to the hospital. And at that point, they began to do everything they can to save their lives. One of the things that often happens too while well, they're in this state after consuming it, they begin to salivate so much, so much that they actually can't even swallow it all. So they begin to have to spit it out as they're going through this. Their mouth may begin to burn. You have that terrible pain within the stomach. And as it gets to its more acute stages, the body begins to shake and tremble and the muscles begin begin to contract violently. They say that, you know, the vomiting is so terrible, but then the mouth begins to shut and it's shut. It's intensely tight. And in this state, as they're shaking, they can shake so violently that we're told that their, their bones can actually come out of joint while they're going through this terrible experience. But he also had something called tachycardia where the heart rate races very, very high, but then it also began to go very, very slow. And so he would go back and forth between these two experiences. The pupils would begin to massively dilate, but then they would contract. So you'd have this back and forth situation in the body, the pain, the violent thrashing that was taking place during this time period. Now, the one boy who had eaten three pieces, he ended up going unconscious for about 10 hours. And finally, he began to wake up a little bit after that. And after 24 hours, he was actually truly able to communicate. But when he finally did come out of it, he was later released, but they did psychological testing. He struggled for some time with serious stress, anxiety. After being let out of the hospital, he was still suffering with hallucinations. And the case report tells us that he had a loss of mental function. So his, his brain wasn't functioning at the capacity of someone his age after that time period. Now his brother also was let out, but he didn't have the same long-term effects. He did not consume as much as his brother. 
Another family, somehow, some reason, I have no idea why they did this, but they took this plant and they made some kind of concoction out of it. They had had some dermatitis, some itchy skin, and so they made a concoction out of this and they placed it on their skin and on the skin of their children. And two of their children died as a result of simply having this on their skin. So evidently, this can be so potent that getting enough of it on your skin could actually kill you. One of the other tragic stories was because this plant has a hollow stem, some parents found this, they cut it not knowing what it was, and they made a flute or some kind of pipe for their child to play music on. And as their child was playing with it, they ended up, as a result of putting it in their mouth, they ended up dying also. There's another case report of a young man back in 2002 who saw this plant. He thought that it was wild carrot and he began to consume it and he did end up passing away. There's another case report of 17 young boys who were out and they, some of them began to consume this plant. Some of them ate the roots and others ate simply the leaves and the boys who ate the roots ended up dying, but the ones who ate the leaves just became ill, but they did make it. So they say that the root is actually the most dangerous part, but once again, any part of this plant may be dangerous. The toxin that is found in the water hemlock is called sicutoxin. As I stated, this is the most dangerous plant in North America. And what would you do? Let's say you were in a situation, you see somebody ends up eating something they think is wild carrot or something along those lines, and then they begin to be maybe violently ill. They begin to have burning in their mouth. They begin having uh, over salivating just, just like crazy. And here they are getting sick. What do you do? Obviously, first of all, you never want to eat something like this and it's better not to even touch it. But if somebody is in this situation, one of the things you can use is something called activated charcoal. Well, first of all, you may have an animal that ends up partaking of it. Many of the mammals end up becoming sick and they potentially can die. Even cows will sometimes uproot the plant and they'll eat the root. And it's one of the names for it is cow bane because it is toxic enough that it can kill a cow. Now the USDA suggests that if you have an animal that ingests this, that you should try giving activated charcoal to the animal. And that may give them a chance to actually survive this toxicity. I read a case report of a young girl who had consumed poison hemlock. And two of the things that they did at the hospital is they gave the girl activated charcoal, but they also used what is called a gastric lavage or what is also known as pumping up the stomach. But that's poison hemlock. What about this water hemlock that has this sicutoxin? Well, it's suggested that for those who have consumed sicutoxin, the primary toxin in water hemlock, that taking charcoal or activated charcoal within one hour of ingesting the sicutoxin is the best opportunity, but only if the patient is physically able. And obviously you want to get to the hospital as fast as you can so the med medical professionals can help you out there. Now, one of the things typically you're gonna find in poisonous plants, often they're not going to taste good, but the strange thing about water hemlock is from those who have consumed it, they actually tell us it tastes good. It tastes like a wild carrot. And that's one of the things that's so insidious about this plant. You can just imagine eating something that you think is good for you, but it ends up destroying you. What an illustration of evil in the end, right? Something that you think is good for you, you do it, you say, oh, this feels so good, it tastes so good, how could it be wrong? But it actually might be deadly. And by the way, for stomach ailments and for toxicity at times, I know just for if I've eaten some bad food or something like that, I have had it where taking activated charcoal, you can, you can simply take a, a spoonful or two, a tablespoon or two, or even a teaspoon or two, and put it in water and stir it up and make a slurry out of it and just drink it down. And it is amazing how well, sometimes I, I've obviously never eaten something like this, but just food poisoning. I have had it where within 10 seconds or 30 seconds, boom, all the pain is gone. If you wanna learn about the science of natural remedies, check out our videos right here. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, hit the like button. God bless and have a fantastic day.